Occasionally, uh, in a museum, you come across an object, an artefact, that is a real direct link with an event in the past. And this map we have here, uh, it's a very recent nation, really does that for me. It takes me back to the Gallipoli campaign in 1915. Now this map has been carried by an officer from the Dorset Regiment, Lieutenant A.G.C. Grant. He was a platoon commander in 5th Dorset, the 5th Battalion. Now they were 1914 volunteers, patriotic volunteers. When they joined up, they would have expected to go to France or Belgium. They didn't get sent there. They got sent to the eastern end of the Mediterranean, to Gallipoli. And the 5th Battalion landed here at Suvla Bay. Now when they landed, um, Lieutenant Grant, and this is where it makes it really personal, Lieutenant Grant had folded the map up and we know what he'd done with it. He'd stuck it for safety into his Sam Brown belt. Now when I first looked at it, I thought these stains, I looked at them and I thought, oh my word, he was wounded. They must be blood stains. They're not. This is a Sam Brown. This is the type of belt he would have been wearing. And you can actually see that the stains on the map correspond with the shape of the Sam Brown belt. Um, you can even tell how the map was folded. So this is the action of seawater on polished leather. Fifth Dorset landed at Suvla Bay and when they came ashore it was absolute chaos. But their commanding officer, Colonel Hannay, formed them up in columns of three and he marched them parade ground style off the beach through the chaos and actually re retained their integrity as a unit. Now from then on they were in fairly continuous action and they started to sustain casualties. Um, I think the thing about Gallipoli, everybody thought Turkish soldiers, Turkish garrison um, wouldn't put up a fight. That was exactly the opposite. The Turkish soldiers proved very brave, very determined, and very very tough. So it, was a, it really was a tough campaign. On the 21st of August 1915, 5th Dorsets were detailed to attack an area called Hetman Cher, entrenched Turkish positions. And this really was uh, a tough mission. They had to advance across open ground into the teeth of Turkish machine gun and artillery fire. And a great many men were cut down. The Dorsets in July landed on Gallipoli with a strength of 800. At the end of the 21st of August, they were down to 250 effectives. There's the scale of the casualties 5th Dorsets experienced on Gallipoli. It didn't stop there. They received recruit drafts, they were reinforced, and the campaign actually carried on right the way through into winter, through the teeth of vile Mediterranean weather, hideous storms, and they were finally evacuated the following January.